Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I do hope you're doing well. We are going to get into the general Pisces energy. So, happy first of the month. Happy birthday to the March Pisces who are born on March 1st. Also to the Pisces who are leap year babies. Happy birthday to you all as well. I know you guys don't, you know get to celebrate like you you know when it's your day but four years so happy birthday to you as well um pisces hold on a second that was a little loud so full moon in pisces is tomorrow i'm not sure of the actual time it could be in the midnight hours uh, usually chest stuff like that but it's been you know it's been it's been crazy so but you know new moon energies new things to uh embark upon new things to um see for what they are full moon has revealed now new moon is um about stepping into new things, new eras, new thoughts, new ways of uh, communicating, new ways of receiving, starting new ventures, new venues, um, new jobs, all things new, especially since we can rent go into springtime. We had a good day today, y'all, so I was taking it in. Oh, I was so excited. I know. Anyway, all right, Pisces. So, the channel songs. Um, first channel song was um, Ralph Transvent Sensitivity. So, um, of course, you know, take it as the song itself. Absolutely, you need a man with sensitivity. You could be meeting someone who's sensitive, who is uh, genuine, who is a gentleman, what have you. But I am also getting pay attention to your sensitivities. Um, you could be um, experiencing sensitivities to certain foods. Um, be mindful of your um, abilities because those could be um, heightening and strengthening and you yourself are sensitive to those and you are um, picking up on things a lot um, more, uh, a, a little bit more frequently um, it's a lot of you know you're, you're getting stuff real real heavy and you are some of you may be um, having uh, light sensitivity you could be having um, uh, your nose could be sensitive to certain smells, um, feeling um, vulnerable in those senses. Ground yourself. Allow your um, allow yourself to to fill out and see what those things are because we've been talking about you know gifts and things like that intensifying and you're going to be sensitive to you know those movements and those activities and you being more sensitive to those things and um oh goodness i <sighs> What the, the, the vision I am getting with this more sensitivity is um, Twilight when Bella becomes, uh, uh, goes through her transformation and, and becomes a vampire and she um, is running through the forest with, uh, with Edward and she can now see and understand why he was okay with um, moving so fast and things of that nature because she could actually pay attention to one thing and zoom in on it but still have her other 
um, faculties about her, still be aware of other things around her, but still have that focus on um, the, um, like a, a dust mite or something of that nature. So, uh, or a, a piece of pollen or a ladybug or whatever. So that's the image I'm getting of you being sensitive to your gifts um, you could be hearing things that other people don't hear and if that is the case be very calm be very calm because um, you could be hearing um, you know ancestors that have transitioned or people who have transitioned and they could be speaking to you um, or they don't necessarily have to be people who have transitioned it could be um, you know, getting audible, um, clear audience telepathy. So just breathe, okay? Um, light, again, light sensitivity. Some could be, since this is, um, has to do with your, um, your senses and everything, you could be experiencing headaches or migraines or, uh, I'm getting heart palpitations, so just do what you need to do to calm yourself. Um, be mindful of those things. Be mindful of the foods that you are intaking because those things could be triggering uh, sensitivities for you. So just breathe, Pisces. It's cool. It's okay. Everything is going to be all right. Just one thing at a time, okay? One thing at a time. Um, so, there we are. There we have it with uh, sensitivity. The next channel song is um, <laughs> Touch It um, by Busta Rhymes. It's the remix one, of course. It's the one with Mary J. Blige and um, Missy Elliott, Papoose. Lloyd Banks, DMX, uh, Raw Digger. Who else is on there? Who else is on there? I think I, I think I called out everybody. I think. If I miss somebody, y'all let me know. But um, again, touch sensitivity. Your being. Uh, some of you could have um, hands that are healing healing hands and your um, touch could be soothing or healing for someone I'm getting um, masseuse um, Reiki healers um, for some reason I am also getting doulas and a doula is you know you they deliver they deliver babies so um, I'm also getting that, so be very mindful with with uh, with touch, and you know, with that sensitivity, know that you can't touch everybody and everything, and everybody and everything cannot touch you, um, because you know there's there's energetic transfer, okay. Um, I'm getting somebody touching something they don't have no business. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, touch not my anointed. So if if you are feeling the, you know, feeling in your spirit, you know, that spiritual warfare and spiritual attack right now, Pisces, just know that um, you can see it but it won't prosper. You know it's there, but you know know that it won't prosper. Know that you have the power of divine. You have the power of your spirit team. Call them in. Speak it. Re when I tell y'all, start rebuking people to their face. That's what I mean. Immediate. No, I rebuke that. When people start trying to talk stuff over you and try to project their fears onto you you have every right 
to speak to that thing and push it away. You have every right to rebuke anything anybody is trying to speak over you, anything anybody is trying to project onto you. People are trying to project fear into your dreams, into your accomplishments, into things that you are trying to achieve. Rebuke those people to their face and let them know, no, you cannot speak those things over me. You might feel that about yourself and about your life, but I don't feel that way about mine. I don't feel that way about you. I feel that everything is possible. So either we're going to believe what it says or we're not. Either we're going to believe in ourselves or we're not. I'm also getting, um, uh, there's a group called Oshun, um, O-S-H-U-N, as in the goddess Oshun, the deity Oshun, um, but the song I am getting is Solar Plexus, hey, work on that, when you have a gut feeling about something, hey, listen to it. It's not steering you wrong okay um, that's the, that was something that just came in that came in real real quick when you know something then you know that you know don't play with that thing don't second guess yourself trust yourself trust your inner knowing trust your gut trust where your your spirit lies trust that okay Trust your intuition. Trust your higher self. Those things that you are getting, those nudges, those um, those red flags, what have you. Believe that. Trust that. Go with that. Because it's not steering you wrong. Okay? Um, yeah. For some of you Pisces, I'm getting you've been quiet long enough. Time, as in, as as Buster said, turn it up. So you've been speaking soft and being all soft shoe and you know meek and mild and all right. You don't want to call stuff out. You don't want to say stuff. There is no more time to be quiet. Be silent and things of that nature yes move in stealth mode when it comes to things that you're trying to create because you know what people don't know they cannot attack okay however it's time to turn up the volume on your voice and for you to be heard uh for you to be seen for you to make contact for you to uh again we were speaking about networking yesterday so time to network time to get your voice out there get your product out there um, unlearning the um, back you know retracting yourself and sitting in the background there's no more background um, we not putting baby in the corner no more okay shine as bright as you have been called to shine be naturally 100% authentically yourself. Okay, so, Lord Jesus, here we go, here we go, here we go. We have the Lover's Card and the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Earth. This is making the choice to balance your sensitive side and that beast within. You are balancing that within yourself, shining your light, being in your in your heart, of course, in your heart. Now, this card has Leo all over it. It's got lion all over it. It's got the, oh goodness, can y'all see? The alchemical sign for Leo right there. But in traditional tarot, this is the Gemini card has a lot to do with twin energy and matching and um, um, making choices and decisions. Well, now it's time to move forward. Something or someone is coming in 
with a lot of stability this ten of earth uh, for some of you this is choosing to expand your family choosing to expand your finances and your resources or someone is coming in and choosing to do this with you you know this you've manifested this you've been manifesting things on the low for a minute you've been doing this in your energy for yourself but not just for yourself for those that you love as well and you doing so shows others how to do that for themselves I'm going to put that right there because that's just that's killer right there that is straight up manifesting everything that you want hello this is the king of earth king of pentacles he's already mastered all of this He's mastered this and he is bringing this in. Um, doesn't have to be a male. This could be um, a female in her masculine energy. But this is someone who is grounded, but also very um, compassionate, but uses everything at his disposal to... Um, make wise decisions and wise choices he does not make a move without thinking about it this is someone who is very wise and very smart with their resources whatever their their resources are whatever is at hand uh, but very grounded this is a very grounded individual wise okay there's wisdom there but it's coming from a place of um, having gone through some hurt this person has gone through some through some broken times through some pain and they learn to function um, by putting their energy and their thoughts into um, their finances okay this could be you Pisces learning to you know do uh, head over heart kinds of things rather than being in your feelings and your emotions and focusing on your tangibles man listen there's the queen of uh the queen of earth or the queen of pentacles right there walking away from anything that no longer serves her walking away from things that no longer serve her and expecting what does putting the focus on um Yeah, that's how that came out. That's how it wants to be seen. This 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 Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is very much focused on the things that she's lost. The hurt, the pain, seeing the hurt and the pain. While this King of Pentacles is focused on something else. He's focused on moving forward. But she's nurturing. This Queen of Pentacles is nurturing something. What's under there? Yeah. She had to st take a step back from the things that she loved in order to move forward. Yes, it hurts. Yes, she sees. She sees the, the emotional separation that had to happen in order for her to get back to this. Some of you are leaving some things behind or um, have been left behind in a situation. And it's, it's, it's not good. It doesn't feel, well, I won't say that it's not good. I will say that it doesn't feel good. But this is what you are manifesting. You are manifesting this choice to 
move forward to do things that are beneficial it's the walking away from the hurt the pain and the temporary in order to gain oh okay okay so with this here I am seeing that there's possibly a possibly a Pisces who is walking away from some stability and um, recreating some things on their own. This is that energy of choosing your own, you know, building your own legacy, building your own family with other family, uh, building um, connections and walking away from something that was once stable and committed. Man, so somebody could be getting a divorce and it's not so it's not so pleasant. But this is this is building that for yourself, going building that over. Using what you know, what you feel, what you intuitively know how to manifest to get this back for some of you somebody is trying to get you back for others of you this is you know there's too much water under the bridge for this to happen again dang it pisces let me see if there's something else here because I'm seeing this is just like, this is so, so positive. Such a positive energy. Wait a minute. Let me see. Is it this way? How did I show y'all? Let me see. Let me see if I remember. I, I showed it to you like this. This. Making the choice to build with someone who is already stable and established within themselves I'm trying to get away from this I'm trying to get away from this but again maybe there's there's a lot of water under the bridge that needs to be dealt with okay hmm let's see I don't like I don't like ending things like this it's a lot of pinnacles here this has a lot to do with your tangibles this has a lot to do with um, things that are already established or things that you're trying to establish and build on okay take a chance that old known, just watching, got their eye on you, and they're wanting you to take this chance with them in the feels and in the emotions, leaving all the what have you behind, knowing that you stand out, knowing that you are the the one with the the magic. They see you. Someone sees you. And they see you in this, this fairy, magical kind of energy. As opposed to the, the others who are, yes, they're earthly and grounded and they're still beautiful and voluptuous. But that's the past. And they see you as the future. Moving forward. Moving forward. Okay. Because there is a connection, Pisces. There's this card again. There is a connection here. Alright. I hope this helped. Because it made me feel a little bit better. There's a connection here. And you're being observed and being watched by this this one who pretends not to see you or who's 
got one eye on you and the other one pretending to be sleep on you but really sees your value and your worth. I'm calling bullshit, but that's just me. All right, Nuggets, I hope that helped. If you need to book a personal Pisces, $10 30-minute readings, $25 hour readings, um, all other signs until it is your birthday season. Your messages are $25 for 30 minutes and $55.55 for an hour, okay? All right. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps the message get out to more people, and it does make your TT feel good, so please do so. I love you. Oh, wait signs that you could possibly be dealing with i keep trying to i keep forgetting to do that because you know it might help earth signs taurus virgo capricorn gemini leo another pisces okay big emphasis on the um the earth signs taurus virgo capricorn okay all right nuggets i love you i love you from my soul and I send you all blessings and light. Take care.